Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic CSS column layout. Hopefully it'll look something like this, very similar to this. It might be a little bit less detailed because I want to condense this video and everything we're going to cover into 10 minutes. So let's dive right in. I've already got a folder on my desktop named CSS Tutorial and I've got a bare bones HTML file. Let's view it in Firefox. It has zero styling, and that's our task for today. Um, to achieve a two column layout, we want our navigation to sit horizontally, and maybe we'll add some basic colors. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna open up my text editor, TextMate. All right, this is the HTML file. Let me give you a brief rundown. We've got our head section, our container, everything's inside the container. We have a header section body which houses our two columns our main column and our side column and then we have a footer so take a look at it again in Firefox I think our first task should be to center it in the web browser so let's open up our style sheet I've already got a few empty rules just to keep us organized so we want to center our layout in the web browser so in with our container we're going to give it a width of 900 pixels margin 0 auto now how this line of code works is the first value 0 is our vertical margin which is 0 and the second value auto is the horizontal margin so we want it to have an equal amount of margin on the right and an equal amount of margin on the left which results in the centering effect so no matter what size our browser is, our layout will be centered. Next, let's have our navigation sit horizontally instead of stacking one on top of the other. And we'll also remove these bullets. So create a new rule, nav, list item, uh, list style none. That'll remove the bullets. And we want them to sit horizontally. So float left. We refresh Firefox and it worked. But we see that our content section is coming up into the nav area, which we do not want. And this is happening because we haven't cleared our floats. Um, we just floated our list items, which allows them to sit horizontally. Uh, but anytime you float an element, you need to clear it. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite methods of clearing floats, which is the clear fix. Now I'll include this code in the sidebar so you can copy and paste it instead of trying to look at this and type it yourself. So we need to go add the clear fix to our navigation. So we'll add a class of clear fix. Refresh in Firefox and now it's just the way we want it. Um, I prefer this method of clearing your floats because it works in virtually every web browser um, and it's a quick, convenient fix. Next, let's have our two columns sit side by side instead of on top of each other. So we'll go into our CSS file. And we want our main column to be, we'll say, 600 pixels. And we'll float it left. We want our side column to be 300 pixels. Also floated left. Refresh this in Firefox, and it looks good, except for the fact that our footer is not sitting underneath the content down here. It's because we haven't cleared our floats yet. So we go back into our HTML. We find the parent element of our two columns, which is our body div, and we give it a class of clearfix. And now our footer sits at the bottom of the page. Uh, I think our next bit of business should be to add some padding between our two columns. There are a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you just one method. It's my preferred method. So we're going to add um, a new div inside our main column and title it main inner and then close our new div and then write a new bit of CSS main inner 
padding, uh, 60 pixels. Now, in case you've never seen CSS shorthand, um, we have four values, and they go in a clockwise fashion. So top, right, bottom, left. And we refresh Firefox, and now we have some padding. Now, the reason I prefer this method of applying padding is that it works consistently across all web browsers, and it doesn't require us to do any math of subtracting the padding from our element's width, which is nice. Uh, the drawbacks or the cons to this method is that it requires an extra div in your markup. In the future, I'll probably show you the more uh, traditional way of adding padding, but for now, this is my method. So next, I think we should style our navigation. Let's begin by removing this unnecessary spacing. So margin zero, padding zero, fresh. Spacing's gone. Now let's add individual spacing between each nav item. Fifteen pixels to the right. Looks good. Let's remove the underline from these links. Um, this is the code for targeting and styling a link. And we also want to target and style the link in the case that it's already been clicked, so it's visited. Text decoration none. We'll remove the underline. Let's give our entire nav bar a color of yellow. All right, our page is starting to take format. It's still incredibly ugly, <laughs> but it has some structure, it has some layout. Um, Let's change the font and also add some more spacing between the lines, some line height. So change the font page wide. I'm going to create a rule up here. Body, font, family, Arial, or any sans serif font. And we're going to change the line height for any paragraphs inside our body. So body, P for paragraph, line height, let's do 1.6 EM. Refresh. So now we have Arial and some more spacing. All right, now let's add color to the rest of our page. So I'm going to pull up a website that allows you to get hexadecimal color codes. All right, so we want the background of our page to be like a blue-gray. So add this to our body rule, background color. Oops. Uh, we want our container to be white. Let's refresh. All right, let's add padding to our container so this isn't sitting flush against the white. Adding 30 pixels. All right. Um, I guess we should color our footer, perhaps. Make the footer just a darker blue. And we'll make the color of the text white. All right, so it's incredibly ugly, but it looks like a very basic website, a very basic ugly website. The point is, is that now you know how to set up um, a two column website, have a horizontal navigation, and from here, now the sky's the limit for you. Uh, in future lessons, I'll show you how to spice up your navigation. I'll show you how to spice up basically the entire layout, but for this video, we're calling it quits. I hope you feel like you learned something, and thank you very much.